Every step, they hope, brings them nearer their destination. Germany, Sweden, maybe the UK. They have a 10-hour ferry journey to Piraeus ahead of them. That's easy compared to the last voyage they did. Looking back from the deck to the shore, goodbye to the island. And suddenly a dinghy comes into view. Hey. This was them just two or three days ago on the perilous crossing from Turkey to Lesbos. A few hours wait, and then the Eleftherios Venizelos is on her way. Families are traveling together, or groups of friends. All summer long, the message has passed back down the line to Damascus, Aleppo, Kabul, Tehran. Now, now is the time. There's a lot of hope on this ferry. Two and a half thousand people hoping that this isn't just a passage to Piraeus, but to Europe and a future they've dreamed of. Because in amongst the Syrian refugees fleeing war, I'm coming across Iranians, Bangladeshis, Moroccans, people who've seen Europe on the television. They think they're going to get a house, a car. They think there's going to be a better life. And their dreams are likely to be dashed. Where are you from? Bangladesh. Bangladesh. Maybe they'll get in under the radar, maybe not. And where are you going? Uh, Italy. Yeah. Italy? Yes. Why Italy? Why? Uh, job. I found a civil engineer from one of the most dangerous places in Syria, traveling with her son, trying to join her husband in Sweden. But she's worried about family back home and doesn't dare show her face. I hope if I stay so many years, I wish to work and to be a good civil engineer in Sweden as well. Downstairs, inside, they can relax. They have so much travelling ahead as they journey north, on foot, by train, by bus, and it all costs money. Best friends from Kabul on their big adventure, but they've only got 20 euros left between them, and they're headed for, well, neither seems to have a clue. Now I don't have more money. I don't have a good idea where you go. Germany, London and other countries. Then, not exactly a reunion, but a friend from Iraq had asked me to look out for his friend who he thought was on the ferry. Excuse me. Are you Abu Fahdi? Yes. I am a friend of Sebastian. Oh! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> nice to see you. Now, now I call him. <laughs> It was all a bit much. <laughs> he once worked for the Americans in Iraq. Then he was attacked by Shia militiamen and later caught at an Islamic State checkpoint. And he's a Christian. They didn't know I am Christian, but I have a cross in a car, on the mirror of the car. It was a cross. Miraculously, his life was spared because a former colleague's son was amongst the militants. We went up on deck. He had to escape, he said. Others are after him now. So many stories, but this can't go on forever. Europe will not absorb all these wanderers. Surely the fences will go up soon, the drawbridge will be pulled, and word will pass back down the line. There's no more welcome. They want to keep us out.